Joe, this is the worst fan fiction I've ever read. Howard the Duck would never make Lola Bunny be his sex slave, let alone use her tongue as an ashtray. Yes, he would. If the multiverse is real and Rule 34 says it can exist, then it exists. Doesn't mean it should. Donald, quit hating. We know how you like your showers. Anyways, back to the topic at hand. I find it weird that no one remembers that George Lucas was involved with the making of Howard the Duck. No people remember, Barack. They just choose to forget it because it's a bigger clusterfuck than the Phantom Menace. Oh, that's total malarkey. Phantom Menace is a fun time. Do I smell a George Lucas tier list that needs to be made? That'd be fun. I'm down. I know George didn't direct episodes five and six, but I feel like adding them and a few other movies anyway. You guys good with that? I'm fine with that. Yeah, fuck it. Put in all the movies where you can really feel his creative touch. We need to hit that 10 minute run time anyway. Okay, to save some time on this list and to not repeat what 20 other YouTubers have done, can we all agree that the original three Indiana Jones and Star Wars movies are all S-tier? Hell no, the one with the Holy Grail is total garbage. On God, Trump, I'm gonna fucking kill you. Relax, Joe, I'm just fucking with you. I'd honestly say Temple of Doom is A-tier, but if you want them all in S-tier, I won't complain. Temple is underrated AF. If anything, Raiders should be in B-tier, because if you take Indiana Jones out of the movie... Don't fucking say it, Joe. The ending doesn't change because the Nazis were gonna open the Ark anyway. And of course you said it, Oh, good Damn God, it, not Joe. this again. That's the least original take of this movie ever. You only say that because you and every other virgin saw it on the Big Bang Theory. It's a stupid take and it undermines how excellent of a story it is. If it's so good, why does the ending suck? Damn it, Joe, I will die on this hill. Take back your stupid comment or I'll delete your new Vegas playthrough on my Xbox. No, 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 please, and I'll take it back. I have over a hundred hours in that game. That's what I thought, Brandon. Besides, the less we talk about the Big Bang Theory, the better. That show is fucking blackface for nerds. Not gonna debate that comment. Now on to Star Wars. S tier. Enough said, I'm assuming we can say the same with Empire? Most definitely. While it's not my favorite movie in the franchise, to put it in anything other than S tier would be heresy. Agreed. Okay, what are your thoughts on Return of the Jedi? Best one, I love the Ewoks. Those Care Bear knockoffs are the cinematic equivalent of Vanilla Ice. Profitable, but fucking cringe. If an army of Teddy Ruxpins can take out an entire train squadron of stormtroopers, how are we the audience expected to be on the edge of our seats during the final act? The drama isn't with those characters, though. It's the drama of Luke and Vader that drives the third act. The will he won't he turn to the dark side intercut with the chaos his friends are experiencing is what makes the ending suspenseful. Yes, but think how much more suspenseful it would have been if it wasn't filled with a bunch of furry comic relief midgets. Enough of this 40-year-old argument. The Ewoks didn't ruin the movie for me. It's still a good ending to a great trilogy. Can't we all agree it's A tier? Put it into B tier. If you take Han Solo out of the movie, the outcome... Shut, Shut the, the fuck, fuck up, up Joe. Joe. I'll accept A tier, Barack. A tier it is then. Right now onto his first movie, THX 1138. Thoughts? It's a movie. It's a solid first movie, but it's not my kind of movie. B tier. D tier. The freckles on the roommate were the only good part of the movie. The rest of it was a bore. This is George Lucas at his most angsty, and it shows. Cap ass take Joe. THX is a subtle masterpiece of micro-budget cinema. It deserves A tier. If by subtle you mean boring and not enough bald girls, then yes. Joe, she looked like a stage four cancer patient. Your point? Never mind, I don't want to hear what you have to say next. Obama, just give the movie a B tier, and let's move on to more interesting movies. Fine, B tier. On to American Graffiti, or as I like to call it, white people in cars not getting bitches. Jesus, Obama, first once upon a time in Hollywood and now this. What is it with you and hating old white people movies? For real, Barack, why are you such a hater? This movie is a vibe. They blast Negro music but don't show the brothers. It's erasure of African American culture. Oh, fuck off with that Spike Lee BLM bullshit, Muhammad. The stories and themes in American Graffiti are universal to damn near all teenagers, no matter when they were born. Plus, that soundtrack is legendary. Amen. Plus, any movie with roller girls and poodle skirts is at least a B-tier for me. Throw that classic into A-tier Obama. All right, Cruising with Crackers gets an A-tier then. Now on to Midget Harry Potter. Do you guys even remember anything about this movie? Besides the midget? Nope, not really. Hey, that's Warwick fucking Davis you're talking about. He's a small Hollywood treasure. Give him some goddamn respect. Oh my god, fine. No need to get worked up, Trump. I remember it being mid. That's about it. Honestly, there were so many weird-ass dark fantasy movies in the 80s, they all kind of blend together in my mind. Same, actually. Are you guys fine with C-tier? Sure, why not? Okay, into C-tier it goes. Now on to Radioland Murders. I appreciate George trying to make a throwback to comedies like The Three Stooges and His Girl Friday, but fuck me, this movie is a drag. I like the movie, but I agree. The slapstick was literally hit and miss, and the movie failed to have any suspense during the actual murdering. Got a shout out to the costume design and soundtrack, though. Preach. The big band music was fire and those costumes were on fleek. Still a C-tier movie, though. Yep, C-tier it is then. Okay, now on to the human rights violation known as the Phantom Menace. Yes, let's tear into this shit show, Mr. Plinkett style. Not so fast, incels. George, George Lucas! Lucas.
damn straight. Jesus, how did another celebrity get into my private server? Trump, I'm fucking George Lucas, the most influential and richest filmmaker of the last 50 years. I have my connections. Damn. Well, how can we help you, George? You can't do shit for me, cuz. I'm here to defend my legacy from you three presidential retards. I'm sick and tired of my work being shit on by stupid bitchless nerds who have never made movies. Screw you, man. We're U.S. presidents. Our work is way more important than yours. Oh, yeah? I've done more to contribute to the U.S. economy than you three combined. You want me to whip out the receipts for the trillions of Star Wars action figures I've sold? Because I fucking will. First off, fuck you, George. I've made plenty of movies in my life. Sex tapes aren't movies, Trump. Second, if you didn't want your work to be shit on, you shouldn't have made toilets. Also, let's be real. There's no way you can defend the trash you've made these last two decades. On God, yes, I can. Go ahead and give me your best shots. What the hell was Crystal Skull? Oh, sniff my ass, Obama. I'm tired of apologizing for Crystal Skull. I wanted to take my franchise in a new direction instead of doing the same old tired shit again. Did you really want Indy to fight Nazis again for a third damn time? Nah, fam. I gave you a great reunion special and a throwback to 1950s B-movies. Besides the CGI gophers, I regret nothing. Get bent and expand your fucking palate. Can't lie, I actually like that movie. Okay, how about Strange Magic? It was made for kids to watch while at the dentist. It did its job perfectly. Damn, that actually is where I watched it. Fair point. Next shit take, please. The entirety of Red Tails. That movie was so corny and cringeworthy, it makes Rachel Dolezal's mere existence seem palatable. I made it for history teachers so they can catch a nap during class. You can't believe how much they need it. Damn, you're right. They really do need a nap. What else y'all got? Got three words for you, George. Jar Jar Binks. Oh, how original, Donald. I totally haven't heard that complaint a million times. Was Jar Jar originally going to become a Sith Lord? Yes, Joe. Until all the pissy fanboys started shit-talking online. You have no one but yourself to blame for that, George. You could have stuck to your guns, but you caved like an innocent black kid in an interrogation room. Not cool, Donald. Get fucked, Barack. You know it's true. By the way, good on you fanboys for almost making Ahmed Best kill himself. He totally deserved the hate. Mr. Doofus, it was your direction that led to that bullying. He was no cap annoying, and he was ugly as hell. Oh, excuse me for being a technological trailblazer, Donald. Someone had to do the CGI finger painting before Andy Serkis could have an acting career. Your technological trailblazing is appreciated, George, but you can't deny the prequels are tonally inconsistent. No, they aren't. They're perfect. George, your writing literally allowed poop jokes and child murder to coexist in the same franchise. We even have you on tape saying you went too far. It's bold in terms of jerking people around, but... I may have gone too far in a few places. That clip proves nothing. George, that clip is more damning than Trump's calls to Mark Meadows. Just admit it. You screwed up. I'll admit no such thing. Every decision I've made is perfect. George, you literally sold Star Wars to Mickey the Jew-hating mouse. Yeah, and I was laughing all the way to the bank with $4 billion. You gave it all to charity. Yeah, and guess who doesn't have to pay his taxes for the rest of his life, Donald? Shit. I'm telling you guys, you got nothing on me. Then please explain Howard the Duck. Nigga, that movie wasn't my fault. Whoa, George! Whoa, George. Fuck cracker. George, on God, I'm about to cancel your Peckerwood ass on Twitter. Wait, hold on, Barry. I'm not racist. I'm a certified brother. L look. Dynamite! Dynamite! Holy shit, how the hell did you get an N-word pass? Sam Jackson gave it to me in exchange for Mace Windu's purple drink lightsaber. Damn, lucky! Fucking sell out Uncle Tom ass nigga. He might be, but you can't lie. He is one bad mother- Shut, Shut your, your mouth. mouth! I'm just talking about Sam. Then I can dig it. Just don't say it again, George. I need the monetization money. Ha! Stop wasting your money on V-Bucks and Star Wars skins and get a job, Barack. Hey, George, not complaining about this or the sex scene in Howard the Duck, but why did you put Padme in a dominatrix outfit? Joe, I know that dress made her into a total baddie, but why are you asking him positive questions? Because I like the prequels. They're a fun time for the whole family. And for all the shit you're giving him, remember the first and third acts of episode three are 100% S-tier. Thank you for that compliment, Joe. Well, to answer your question, I did it as a visual metaphor for Anakin's temptation for the dark side. Horse shit! Yeah, you're right. I just wanted something besides a green screen to look at while on set. Gross, but understandable. Also, there is one thing I know you can't defend. Kathleen Kennedy! I can't complain. She derailed my franchise exactly how I planned it. Ha! Ah, got he! Wait, what? That's right. You heard me. I knew she'd screw it up. While a great producer, she was never one to learn from constructive criticism. But why? Why would you purposefully let someone destroy your own franchise? Yeah, that seems like a really stupid idea. Is it, though? You know, if the prequels taught me one thing, it was this. Nerds don't like change. They want everything to be exactly the same as it was in their childhood. Perfect, fuzzy, and full of hope. The moment something new comes in, no matter how good or bad it is, that perfect image is broken. They'll hate it no matter the quality. Good news, though. If someone less competent is stupid enough to come in and ruin their childhoods, they'll long for the past, and they'll start to see how really good they had it. You mean? Yes, Barack. 
I sold Lucasfilm to Disney so all of my movies could finally get the recognition they deserve. Not a fan of Willow? Fine! Enjoy whatever this 8 episode Disney Plus bullshit is. You didn't like having aliens in Indiana Jones. Congrats! Wait till you see him time travel with Nazis. You think Jar Jar Binks is annoying? Try a cringe woke robot and an Asian PETA activist for size? Hate young Darth Vader? Cool. Bet they'll cast a perfect young Han Solo. Hate tonal inconsistencies in my writing? Okay, I'll stay out of it. Enjoy scripts that feel like first draft fan fiction. Think I can't write fucking dialogue? Well, fuck you. Suckle on this masterful writing. Somehow Palpatine returned. Hi, I'm holding for General Hugs. That's why now! Got a boyfriend? Cute boyfriend? That's how we're gonna win. Not fighting what we hate. Saving what we love. Jesus Christ, George, you're a madman. Biden... I'm not a madman. I'm just a man who's mad. Mad at being used and thrown away. Uh, I gave you your childhood. I made the dreams you never knew you needed to dream. You don't drop me. I, I, I drop you. You want the theatrical editions? Fuck you. You don't deserve them. I'm going to release a new cut every year till the day I die. Bro, you wouldn't dare. Try me. George, please take a chill pill. What do you want from us? I want all of my movies in S tier. Nigga, what? You heard me, Lando. Put all of my movies into S tier, or I'll have an underpaid VFX artist put another rock in front of R2-D2. Jesus, where would you even put it? I'll let Kathleen Kennedy decide. Oh, Christ, guys, we have to do it. We can't let her touch the original trilogy. Well, I usually don't condone negotiating with terrorists. I agree with you, Joe. Obama put all of his movies into S tier. Okay, one moment. There you go, George. All of your movies are now in S tier. Not all of them, Barry. You only put Red Tails into A tier. Please, George, please don't make me do it. My homies in Detroit will take away my black card if I put it in S tier. Don't fuck with me, Barack. You lost your black card when you let your wife take code Red Mountain Dew out of public schools. Put it in S tier, damn it. Come on, Barack. Barry, this is no time to have morals. I, I can't do it. Barack, I'm not an unreasonable man. Put it in S tier and I'll give each of you 8K copies of the original trilogy. You mean the theatrical cuts? Yep, Han Solo shooting first and everything. Obama, hand to God, put it in S tier and I'll never make a racist joke around you again. Come on, cuz, do it for the group. I, I can't. Barack, please. Whatever. You retards don't deserve them anyway. No! Lick shit and enjoy the next five stupid seasons of Mandalorian and Boba Fett. My clunky forever niggas. Damn it, we almost had the 8K version of the theatrical cuts. Thanks a lot, Obama. My dreams have been ruined, Barack. I think I'm gonna go cry under my bed now. Dang. So that's what a drone strike must feel like.